Hello, my friends. I am trying to get us set up here. I think we're good now. All right. So we are here for Twilight Tarot. It's, it's kind of cloudy here where I'm at, so um, it's a little dark prematurely, if you will okay um twilight tarot we're just gonna ask for a message for the collective we're just gonna ask what what everybody's feeling what everybody needs to focus on what everybody needs to ignore all that fun stuff cards are a little bit long and so we make it super difficult to rifle shuffle like that and I dropped one so which one did we drop let's go with that one pardon my head seven of wands all right do we have anything else to go with that? Okay, well, we're not going to take that one, but we're going to take this one because it kind of flew out on its own. Ten of Wands. Some of y'all are carrying some heavy, heavy heaviness. Heavy baggage. But you might be doing it rightfully so. You might be... You know, you might be in the right place. You might be in the right headspace. Um, your heart might be in the right place, but you might still have to defend what you're doing. And it's heavy, and it's baggage. And we all, we all have extra weight to carry. yourself oh yeah someone's getting there it's it's hurting it's hurting it really is but but there might be you know some clarity you're getting out of it anything else to go with this for our collective read this evening. No, okay. What do we got on the bottom? Four pentacles. All right, so whoever needs this, this is you. We're, we're looking here at the solar plexus chakra, okay? That's your chakra of like personal power, willpower. That's your gut instinct. So you need to like follow your gut. You're in the right space, okay? The, the seven of wands is the card of like defending yourself, right? Normally there's a picture of a guy and he's standing kind of on top of a hill and he's got one wand and he's defending six others that are trying to come at him, okay? So this one here is yours. And you are just in a very zen meditative state and you've got all of these wands still pointed in your direction okay and you're looking away you know where your heart is at you know your space you know what you need to do so focus on that but it's gonna be hard okay it's gonna be hard because there's baggage everybody has baggage right um, everybody trudges along. Sometimes it's super hard to carry, but I don't know. It, it comes with, how do I want to word this? It kind of comes as part and parcel to this whole human experience, okay? Like, we, we get baggage, and you probably have, woo, baggage from this 
this heartbreak. Like, literally somebody just ripped your heart to shreds, okay? Um, but you can come back from this, right? The, the sky is brightening. The, the, day, the days when you feel this um, are going to be fewer than the ones where you feel good. Okay, so you need to know that there is an end to this, right? There is recovery, there is recuperation. Um, you need to look within, okay? Um, draw on that willpower, draw on that personal power because you have it, it is available to you, okay? You just need to do it. That's it, simple. All right, and the Ace of Swords, the last one that, that fell for us, I mean, this can be new conflict, and maybe it's got something to do with that Ten of Wands that fell on the ground, um, or this Three of Swords, okay? But this can also be new ideas, okay? Um, swords is air, so it's intellect. So you might have some, some idea that sparks in your brain for... For something and it maybe it's got everything to do with this I certainly hope it does I certainly hope that whatever is going on in your head the many levels of ideas and instincts and intellect and intuition those many levels um, bring you here these are probably this is where you will get it this is where you will find this right um, this can be mental clarity, right? This is this bright light out of the center. Yes, there may be many steps. Yes, there may be many levels. Yes, it's twisting and you might feel sometimes like you're dizzy because you just keep going around and around and around, right? But there is clarity at the end of that tunnel. See how it almost looks like a tunnel, right? If you just look right down the center of it. So there is clarity. There is, um... A consistency, uh, an end to this ho-humdrum of this circular almost torture, right? Because sometimes when we get something in our heads, we just go around and around and around with it, right? And we don't, we don't know what to do or what to say or... So we need to go within, all right? Um sometimes to figure things out around you you going within is your best bet right and and there's always growth on the other side of heartache okay but you need to get past it you need to get past it you need to draw on these new ideas on this mental clarity that you're going to receive because there's there's always a lesson to be learned okay we don't go through things in life unless there's something to draw away from it Okay, and sometimes, sometimes, if you're like me, <laughs> you go through it several times <laughs> before you actually get the message, you know? I kind of think I'm doing that right now with some situations, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and, and find that Zen space, look within, okay? Um, there's, there's a meme or a saying that goes, I don't know, it's something about... <sighs> the way through is within or something like that and I think that that in this case is applicable um, if I can find the meme I will post it I've seen it with several different pictures but but this is a, a perfect representation of it right um, and what did we have on the bottom of the deck to clarify um, which was the four of pentacles okay um, now technically um, if it were upright, it would be the desire for, like, security, right? For being able to have enough. Maybe this person has gone without for so long. Um, however, it, it technically was. I flipped it right side up, but it was upside down when I looked at the bottom of the deck. I don't always read reverse cards. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but... But that's, that can be, instead of, you know, wanting that security, that can be being open to being vulnerable, right? Um, 
and maybe somebody is like looking at you off in the distance to to possibly take advantage of you but yeah you know i'm i'm gonna go with the like desire for long-term security and as long as you don't let it get to the point where um you're greedy about it right you four pentacles okay you need it you you require it but you also need to be very six of pentacles about it which is kind of sharing the wealth and uh and all that comes with that being of service and giving to others instead of just having and keeping for yourself but i think the main message here is it's heavy this that ten of wands i'm glad it fell on the ground because I'm feeling the three of swords and and it's like a weight on my chest yeah you can come away from that you will come away from that okay there will be clarity on the other side of craziness because that's what that is okay just look within you got this my friends I hope this twilight tarot finds you well and that you have a great twilight wherever you may be bye